Is there an inverse relationship between the frequency of ejaculation and the development of prostate cancer? Yeah, there's an epidemiologic study that shows that men who are ejaculating more than 20 times a month, that there was a lower risk of developing prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death for men behind only lung cancer. So smoking, it is classically linked with lung cancer and classically linked with bladder cancer, urothelial carcinoma. Yes. But smoking is associated with more the development of more aggressive prostate cancer. When a guy has a two to 400 gram prostate, how much of that is genetic? Is that virtually all genetic? Yes, a lot of the, you know, you see that a lot where it runs in families. The bigger the prostate, the less your chance of developing aggressive cancer is. If you have a personal history of prostate cancer, meaning a father, uncle, or brother, so first degree relative, the number of individuals and the age that they were diagnosed, it increases your fold risk of being diagnosed with prostate cancer significantly.